Hi, I'm Amy Maher. Welcome to Ridgewater College. Let me share a little bit about our Multimedia Design Technology Program. Multimedia Design Technology just includes a variety of things. When, when people ask me what is multimedia, really it's anything from graphics, you know, illustrations, photography, audio, video, animation, interactivity. Design fundamentals are never going to go away. We are going to have design forever and so our software may change, the media may change, you know, we, we don't like to read anymore, we like to watch videos. Um, when we use social media, we like to see pictures, but the core fundamentals of design, those elements and principles, the typography, the color, that is always going to be there from packages, you know, the cereal box that you buy at the grocery store, to the website that you look up for a company, to the billboard as you're driving down the highway. Everything is, it has design, and I think as students, they realize how much of it really is in their environment. I tell them, I'm gonna ruin you. You're not gonna look at the world the same. You're not gonna be able to open up you know, a magazine and just for fun. You're not gonna be able to watch the movie anymore because you're gonna analyze it. I love the energy that flows in the classroom. Um, it's just very rewarding to see the students get it and to see them excited about it. Watching them grow as designers, watching them um, become fluent in the, the software and, and the tools that they use as designers in their career. And, you know, it really kind of builds up to that capstone project, their portfolio, which really is how they get a job. It's, it's how the employers see what they can do and see their talents and their skills. And I, you know, watch them mature and grow into these awesome designers that really can be a huge asset for a company. The Multimedia Design Technology Department has multiple degree options. We have a Multimedia Design AAS degree and diploma. We have a Web Programming AAS degree and diploma. We also have a shared degree with the Marketing and Sales Department called Marketing and Design. In your folders, you will find a few sheets that will give you a little bit more information about our degrees, specifics about the program, career information, some specifics on program distinctions. So there should be one in there on Multimedia Design Technology. There should be one with Web Programming and Marketing and Design. So I want to share a little bit about what the difference is between an AAS degree and a diploma. Most people don't quite understand what that is. So for instance, we have a Multimedia Design Technology AAS degree and we also have a Multimedia Design Technology Diploma. So I do have these sheets in your folder as well. So you can take a look at those, pull them out and look at the differences. Now as far as the technical core, technical core is the same on both the AAS degree and the diploma. So the technical core are classes that you must take to fulfill the requirements for this degree. Those in classes include things like graphic visualization, a class that goes over the graphic elements and principles. There's an introduction to computer graphics, which is an introduction to Photoshop and to Illustrator. There's a typography and color theory class, looking at how we categorize type, how we decide which font to use, and then color, looking at color, how we can create color schemes, and again, a little bit on color psychology. There's a video class. There's an HTML and the web class. There's an illustration class, which is all Illustrator, an image editing class, which is all uh, Photoshop with image manipulation, there's an animation class, an interface design class looking at user experience and user design, 
and a business of multimedia class where students learn the aspects of the business world, how to deal with clients, how to work as a team and collaborate, and also contracts and copyright issues. And then we have our portfolio class, which is really the capstone course where students build a portfolio um, used to promote themselves in order to get a job. So those technical core classes are ones that you need to take. Now the electives have much more flexibility. So our elective credits can be taken from within the multimedia design department, within our computer systems technology department, in the marketing and sales management department, or in the administrative support, which would include like legal assistant or business presentations. So those electives can really be customized. And what we want here is a customizable degree. We want to look at what your career goals are, and we want to make sure that you take the classes that help fulfill those goals. What's going to best get you ready for the real world? So now the big difference here between the two degrees is in the general education courses. So notice on the left, on the AAS degree, look at that right column there. It says general education, 15 credits required. So you are required to take 15 credits of general education courses. Within those 15 credits, you need to make sure that you take at least three credits in a English Goal 1 course, three credits in a Communication Goal 1 course, and then three credits in the Art goal six. So the goal areas are with the Minnesota Transfer Curriculum. There are 10 goal areas in all. You must hit at least three different goal areas to fulfill the requirements for an AAS degree. So after those uh, English and Communication and Art classes are completed, then you have the option for a couple more classes in whatever field. Again, maybe something that's going to help you in your career goals or an interest area. On the right side with the diploma, you'll notice there are no general education classes. That's because those are not required. So in the diploma, it's total of 50 credits, whereas the AS total is 60 credits. So diploma is a little bit uh, fewer credits. We have our technical core classes exactly the same. And then you have a bit more technical electives. Those technical electives, then we look at specifically what's going to benefit you. Okay, so that's the difference between the two. I always ask, if in the back of your mind you think you may transfer on and earn a bachelor's degree, if that's a possibility, you will most likely want to look more closely at the AAS degree because those general education classes will help you transfer. Okay, so um, that's something that is more um, in depth, I guess we discuss it more in depth, dream, uh, orientation, registration, and advising. But just to be aware that there are two different options there. Same thing with the web programming, exact same scenario where you have an AAS degree and you have a diploma. So look through your folder. You should have all of those educational plans. This is what we call this educational plan. Those should be located in your folder and you can browse through those. And let me know if you have any questions. So what's unique about the MMDT degrees? What's unique about multimedia? Remember that multimedia is a world where multiple things come together, combining typography, illustrations, photography, graphics, animation, sound, video, along with interactivity, something that we feed into the computer, we feed into the digital world, and our goal is either to educate, promote, inform, or entertain, and that we're only limited by our imagination. So unique things that we have going on here in multimedia. Online. So our classes are online. But don't let that scare you. Because faculty are on campus pretty much every day. So online offers a flexible format in that students can either be on campus or they can be remote. Our lectures are recorded and those recordings are available for students. So for example, in my classes, I record lecture videos and those are available for a, each week. So you may have five little short videos to watch, you may have 10 videos to watch. 
The videos are available Monday through Sunday, and after you watch your videos, then you're able to complete your assignments or exercises. Our flexible atmosphere is full of inspiration, creativity, and innovation. We try to push students to be the best they can be. We have really unique connections within our college. So not only our unique connection between multimedia design and web programming, because these are really not common to be found living in the same program area. It's a unique opportunity to have design and have programming in the same department. We also have a unique connection within our business cluster. Our business cluster is a group uh, of programs that are interconnected and collaborate with each other. Those programs include the marketing and sales management, administrative careers, legal assistant, photography, accounting, and multimedia, of course. So this is a unique way that we can really tr customize your degree. The curriculum is, of course, in response to industry demands. So we adjust our education plan and our course offerings frequently in response to what our advisory board tells us industry needs. There's a variety of electives available from programs that we collaborate with. Like I mentioned, we're part of a business cluster. We have great agreements and collaboration with computer systems, with marketing and sales management, photography, the art department, the audio department, business, entrepreneur. We have also really good connections to industry. Our advisory board really drives our program here at Ridgewater. And I think the best is that we are able to offer community projects. Students are continually working within community groups and nonprofits to gain real world experiences. Anything from websites to logos to posters and brochures. We have real clients with real project opportunities. I wanna mention some of the software that you would be utilizing here in the Multimedia Design Program. Students are required to have a subscription to the Adobe Creative Cloud. The primary tools that you will become proficient in are Adobe Photoshop, an image manipulation software, Adobe Illustrator, which is a vector illustration tool, Adobe InDesign, which is a page layout software. Those are probably the three top most important for someone pursuing graphic design. Acrobat, Animate, which is the animation, Premiere, which is video, After Effects, which is again video and animation, and Audition, which is audio. Of course, we incorporate the Microsoft Office Suite uh, with presentations in PowerPoint and uh, reports and paperwork done with Word. WordPress, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, PHP, Java, those are all tools that you would find in the web programming degree. So it leads me kind of to the next question is what type of classes might you want? These are the courses that we have here, and these are really the core classes. So you have classes in design theory, looking at those graphic design elements and principles of design. We have color theory classes, looking at how can we create color harmonies and color schemes? What color should I pick when I'm designing a logo? And the psychology that's behind that. Typography, again, understanding the whole world of type looking at fonts, looking at how fonts fit into categories, looking at readability, looking at legibility, um, understanding when I should use a specific font and why. Photography, so that you understand how to compose a great photo. The software, of course, uh, if you look over on the right here in orange, image editing is Photoshop, illustration, Adobe Illustrator, page layout, Adobe InDesign, animation, Adobe Animate, web authoring, this is a variable looking at CMSs, um, looking at um, just raw code, video, there's Adobe Premiere, and audio, Adobe, Adobe Audition. You also will look at software design, interface design, user experience, um, how users navigate through 
uh, a design, whether it be on an app, a mobile app, or on a website, or we talk about how it relates to actually print in a poster or in a brochure. Business, we have uh, at least one opportunity that students um, need to take, but there are many more, especially if you're heading down an entrepreneur kind of path. So business where you learn about all aspects of business, collaborating with your peers, working with clients, looking at copyrights, those are so important, um, understanding contracts, working off of a time chart. Um, as a group, you have an organizational chart, an org chart, where we have a hierarchy of positions and different ways people work with each other. So that's a really fun experience. And then portfolio, where we look at social media, we look at how we can promote ourselves and show what we can do, because that's how you're going to get a job. It's going to be, what can I do for you? What can me as a designer or as a programmer provide you company ABC and how can you benefit from having me hired? Job possibilities. This is a little tricky because it's not that we are all going out to get the same job. So depending on what you focus in, what your career goals are, we can go on down a lot of different paths. Probably the most common is looking at graphic designers or illustrators or web designers. A social networker, someone who's maybe combining some marketing uh, with design on social media. Photo editor, manipulating uh, imagery. Uh, interface designer, a UI, a UX, those are all different things, but they kind of fall into the same general category. A programmer, and again, that can take on many different forms as well. Into marketing and advertising, game design, game developer, social media networker, project manager. So the design fields and programming opportunities are really endless. There's a lot of different ways people can go. So if you ask, well, where are the alumni working? What are they doing? We have people working out in corporate industry. So working for a large corporate company and doing design or programming within that specific company. We have people in education and communication fields. Um, we have a past graduate who creates online course and instruction and graphics and interactivity. Of course, graphic design firms, just firms that are just doing design work or just doing programming work, both small and large. These types of people would be producing logos and posters for their clients. So clients might include casinos or museums, newspapers, in print shops, um, doing design store display, like the end caps at retail stores, if a student that was doing that. So a lot of approaches within uh, design and working within a firm. Illustration. So I have a student who has done numerous children book illustrations. Um, students working at sign shops or doing like the car wraps, the boat wraps, ATV wraps. I have a student, a past student, who is designing graphics for a NASCAR driver. Um, environmental graphics like interior large scale murals and also wayfinding. Wayfinding is basically signage and identity in an environment. Think of like a mall and you find the map that says where everything's at. Somebody designs that or in a museum. Interface design, talking about the user experience design and how people interact with different tools. Web design, of course we have web firms, firms that are just doing websites, um, very similar to design firms where we have firms that are just doing design work. So um, within the firms and companies on the web, you know, they manage the online content and the servers from which it's distributed. They might design and implement websites as well. And the web programming goes hand in hand with that, where we have uh, past students uh, who are WordPress theme developers, web programmers, computer programmers. 
the video industry this was once really popular kind of died away when the internet sort of became our main tool but now it's back because our internet is fast enough so now we have video production doing marketing or social media videos marketing firms or uh, departments within larger corporations again doing marketing materials or marketing via social media and then looking at the entrepreneurs um, freelancers owners that is actually a very large chunk of this industry so the general work activities in this field of course think creatively be original you're going to interact with computers you need to understand how to get information observe receive and obtain make decisions solve problems we're problem solvers design communicates a message art is enjoyment it's it's something that we have pleasure in looking at design is for a purpose design communicates something being active learners our industry is constantly changing which is fun because we have always something new and exciting coming out so we have to learn how to continuously learn throughout our career time management of course deadlines are a huge thing so we have to understand how to work with deadlines and manage our time appropriately communication both written and oral and listening skills so just understanding and working with creative people for many years so I've been at the college for over 20 years I find that the most artistic people struggle with time management and they struggle with communication so those are two things that we really try to focus on and improve and become aware of the last main point here I want to talk about our salaries earning potential so the salary information here was taken from last year and we're looking at graphic designer and multimedia designer and then web programmer kind of stepping up on the scale there graphic designers typically earnings around 30 to 60 with average around 41 now if you look um, at the programmer they have more earning potential um, programmers just make a little bit more than a designer does interesting fact here about 26 percent of graphic designers are self-employed now if we look at what happens here in the real world um, this is common career paths for graphic designers typically the graphic designer starts out as a designer might be a junior designer intro designer then they move up and they might move into a senior designer they might move into expanding their uh, talent expanding their knowledge and getting more into web so graphic design and web design they might become an art director what happens here as the flow continues and we get five to ten years experience people tend to move up the ladder an interesting fact that I read about often in this career field is that you go into the field because you love doing design you love the artistic creative flow however with 10 years 15 years you move up within a company and all of a sudden you're managing the projects you become the art director you become the manager of the office uh, you become the creative director and now you're managing people you're attending meetings all day long you might be meeting with the client then you meet with your designers and you have lost the time doing design so a lot of times people will walk up and they realize you know what this isn't what I enjoy doing and they will go back down so that's something to think about sometimes um, you need a change and actually becoming the manager and director is uh, the next step and people ex love it they enjoy it other times they'd rather just stay and become that senior designer and keep designing things here are a couple job postings just to give you an idea with alternate job titles this career is one of those that you can't just go out and search for one word and find all the results and find all the job postings doesn't work that way because people call these things a whole bunch of different ways so it might be a web designer might be a web programmer might be a web uh, developer they're all a little bit different but people kind of mumble jumble them all together same with graphic artists graphic design multimedia design multimedia artist graphic design specialist I mean there's a whole bunch of different ways that we can term these things so as you look out there at job postings you have to use a variety of terms 
So the graphic design specialist, if I did a radius within Hutchinson here, and I think I did like a 60 mile radius, so not getting too much into the cities, you can kind of see where we're at here for salary. Um, and starting out, of course, it's that magic five years experience that everybody is looking for. So um, you can see that the salary here for graphic design specialist too, this is somebody that's been out there for a, a few years. When you look at web designer, they're making a little bit more. And of course, a web designer with much more experience, more diff uh, programming knowledge will make even more. So you can kind of get an idea of where that ends up. So ending here, what would prepare you as a student? Communication classes, social media, getting out in social media and becoming familiar with it. And then of course, just a knowledge of design and art principles. The technology and software, if you have any of that knowledge, fabulous. A lot of students come in without any knowledge. If you're looking at programming, getting into web programming, then the math and problem solving is an important piece. Time management, decision making, and active learning, becoming a lifelong learner are all things that are really good skills to have. Not that you need them to enter into the program, but they are really good things to develop. I want to leave you with a couple of testimonies from some past students. Well, I live in Eden Prairie and I chose to come here because I love designing websites and I've always wanted to do that. And then um, when I was in high school, I went to Eden Prairie High School and I took a class that was like the intro to um, making websites and then I loved it so much like it's like my favorite thing to do and then so then I was like looking and looking and looking and looking for a program that had the actual making the website and then doing like the coding stuff behind the website so then the only place that I could find that had both of those was here I just love it because it's got both and like I can do the two-year degree for the multimedia design technology which is like more the web designing and then I have the web programming degree too. So that way I can get like both sides of making the website, which is what I really, really wanted. I met with Amy and I was like, oh my gosh, I love this program. I met with Alan from the CST side and he is so funny. Like I love him to pieces. Um, well, I wanna be a front end developer um, and like the ideal place is probably the nerdery in Bloomington. My favorite part about web programming is just like learning how it actually works behind the scenes. Like if I see something that I really like, like on a website, I'm like, I wonder how they do that. I can actually like go in and see how they did that. And I'm starting to like really understand the business of multimedia class. Um, it's been really in depth about like how business works and like the different roles you could have inside of a business. And then with that class, we've had like three different clients. And I was like the group leader of one of the one of the projects, which was like really exciting. And like it really showed me like how to work with a team and like how you meet with a client and like how the whole revision process works. So I'm ready to go out into the like corporate world world and be like, I know that like this is how we're going to do it. And like I got this and then I know the design side that I'm going to be working with. So it makes it a lot easier, I think.